Welcome to Knock Hill and weekend number eight in a tensely poised quick fit British Touring Car Championship. We make our annual visit here to Scotland with defending champion Colin Turkington, having preserved his championship lead, but very much aware that the chasing pack are gathering and Knock Hill is the ideal place for the big names to attack. Thruxton four weeks ago was a successful damage limitation exercise for Turkington and he emerged with a 30-point lead over teammate Andy Jordan who made only modest inroads. But it was a hat-trick of wins for the Honda Civic drivers and that boosted the championship challenge of race winners Dan Kamish and Josh Cook. Rory Butcher is very much the knockhill expert. Sutton, Neil, Ingram, Tordoff and Plato complete the top ten. Three wins out of three for the Honda Civics then at Thruxton and with the win for Dan Kamish, Halford Zuasa Racing moved to the top of the team's championship and Honda have closed the gap on BMW at the top of the manufacturer's competition. Josh Cook took victory in race two at Thruxton and that got him ahead of Rory Butcher in the independent driver's competition. And it also means that his team, VTC Racing, took a narrow lead over Cobra Sport in the Independent Teams Championship. Well, Knock Hill is a home circuit in every sense for Rory Butcher, so he would be favourite to extend his lead in the Jack Sears Trophy, which is for drivers who entered the season without a podium finish. He's currently 41 points ahead of Tom Oliphant. A great weekend for Adam Morgan at Thruxton with a second, third and fourth that consolidated his reputation as the top overtaker and he leads the forever forward standings with 94 places gained. So weekend number eight in the 2019 schedule, just six races remain after this visit to Scotland. We're 20 miles north of Edinburgh at the tight Knockhill circuit that swoops and undulates and always brings us some of the most spectacular action and spectacular pictures of the year. It will be blast off now. Who makes the best stop? Good getaway by Butcher. Jordan gets ahead of Camish then for second place on the run down towards Duffers Dick for the first time. But Rory Butcher it is who leads the way. Tom Chilton to the outside of Camish. Can he go third? They plunge down here. Yes, he can. Chilton in the Ford Focus grab. Third place. Camish comes back on the inside line down through Leslie's. And he's done it. Camish retakes third. That's like Bushel off the road. Is everybody going to avoid him? He's still having a big slide. He's got damage suspension by the look of it. So Mike Bushel's race is pretty much done. Oh, we've got Acton further back. Nicholas Hamilton. Hamilton, yeah, is that Bobby Thompson in the Volkswagen off the road as well? Nick Hamilton has stopped on the circuit as well. Yeah. It's Michael Crease, apologies to Bobby Thompson. Chilton dives up the inside of Camish and goes through. Ash tries to go for the inside. Through he goes, there's contact, and around he spins. Max Simpson to the inside of Ollie Jackson, through he goes. Then Collard and Plato are going to have a go as well. Oh, we've got Jelly in the pits with a lot of front-end damage. And that is Rob Collard, who we've lost into the pit lane as well. Jordan has the advantage, starting the last lap. Fantastic stuff. Jordan leads down to Duffer's Dick. He's off the road. Here comes Butcher back up the inside. There's more contact. Butcher goes back through, and he retakes the race lead on the last lap. Rory Butcher wins here at Knock Hill. Fantastic race and a great drive. He wins by 0.268 of a second from Andrew Jordan. 
Lights will go out now. Andrew Jordan blasts away. It's a good start. Is it good enough to get him into the race lead? Yes, it is. He cuts across. He's got the job done. And Turkington's it's only four. So Jordan leads. Butcher second. Out wide goes Cole Bordley. Loses out to Oliphant, to Robottom, to Sutton as well. Sutton comes up to have a go round the outside. He got past the BM. He has. Great move by Sutton. Butcher's kind of turkey just spun round. Is he going to get stuck in the gravel? Oh, this is championship potential. A defining moment here. That's Dan Robottom, who is off the road, coming from the chicane down towards Clarks. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's put a wheel on the grass and lost the, the back end. Turkey just making a bit of progress against Mark Robottom. Mark says, you put me off, I'm going to put you in the, in the gravel. Andrew Jordan to the hairpin for the final time then. He inherited a win here last year in race two. This time it's a proper win, and it's win number six of the season. Andrew Jordan comes across the line to win at Knock Hill. Dan Camish takes second place, 1.6 seconds back. Third is Rory Butcher from Senna Proctor, Tom Chilton and Tom Ingram. Lights out. They blast away. Good start by Jake Hill to cover off Josh Cook on the run down towards Duffers for the first time. It is the Audi in the lead. Jake Hill, who's never had a win, leads Josh Cook, leads Jason Plato, Morgan fourth, Ingram fifth, Chilton sixth. There's a little bit of rubbing between Matt Simpson, who spins. Andrew Jordan was involved, but Simpson is off the road and in the gravel. Oh, we've got others on to Jordan off. Oh, my goodness. Morgan making a push now on Plato, but a bit of contact there. Plato goes wide just to give himself a bit of room. Now Morgan's up the inside. Will Ingram be able to slot in as well? No, Plato shuts the door. Turkey turn goes through, does he? They lean on each other, but the reigning champion is on the inside line. And yes, Turkington has done it. No, he's not. Sutton comes back. He's all over the dirt. He's all over the curb. Now, Turkington finally secures 13th place. A corner to go. Here he is. Jake Hill is going to be the VTC's perfect 10th, if you like. He will be the 10th winner of the season. A first touring car win for Jake Hill comes at Knock Hill. Brilliant drive. Josh Cook second. Adam Morgan is third. What a day at Knock Hill. It just leaves us with a championship battle that's tightened up still further. Make sure you're with us in two weeks' time as the battle resumes at Silverstone. But from Knock Hill, it's goodbye.